Okay, so welcome to uh, part 9. Uh, we've just finished our plants and now we're going to get into rocks. So it's really quite simple to make rocks. They seem like hard things to make, but they're really quite easy when you know how to make them. So uh, let's get into layer 2 now. Oh, and we need to move our shrubs back into layer 1 because if you remember, we moved them away so we could just edit them. And I'm going to add a cube. And this cube is going to uh, have, um, you know, two subdivision surfaces on them like that uh, uh well it's gonna have a, a subsurf modifier or subdivision surface like that uh, with layer two and we're gonna add up uh, so with the view count and rendered uh, count of two and we're gonna add another one and this is gonna go up all the way up to five for now anyway we're gonna lower that down later on but this is just so we can see how it's gonna work and now that we've done that we're going to add three displacements and uh, these displacements obviously need textures, so I'm going to add a new material, call it Rock 1, and I'm going to uh, uh, add a, uh, three new textures, and I'm going to uncheck all these boxes so they do not affect the material. This one is going to be called Rock Disp 1, meaning Rock Displacement 1, Rock Disp 2, and Rock Disp 3. And now, uh, what we're going to do is we can apply all of these displacements. So one, two, and uh, wait, where are we? Well, that should be two, and this should be three. Okay, so it it looks like a mess, but uh, that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is just uh, we've got in our textures now, so we can just uh, hide all of these. The first one. Uh, this is going to be turned into a Voronoi texture, so uh, from clouds, just click on this and go to Voronoi. And uh, we're going to set the size up to 1. And you can already see how this is working, well I'm assuming you can anyway. But there's some adjustments, because as you can see over here we've got this big... Uh, uh, it's basically just goes right in and looks strange and rocks don't usually have that sort of look to it. So we're going to go to colors and tick ramp and we're going to bring the alpha up here and just to make things sort of happen more gradually we're going to change this from linear to B spline and if we just bring this up to around about where there's in this point here to somewhere where it says mm, I don't know around about where the F like that and bring the contrast down to 0.3 and you can also adjust the brightness however you like as well just increase it maybe a bit and you know maybe have the contrast at 0.5 and maybe move this back a bit and lower the brightness okay and increase it a bit just so that there's none of these obvious uh, black spots on it okay and you can see now it's all got the uh, the smoothed out base uh, model of a rock and if you're worried about these points going in that's fine really because the, the displacements will sort of mask them like the next ones will mask them quite well okay so if we now show up the next displacement uh, the, what we're going to do now is rocks tend to have these layers where things you know they're just sort of uh, being eroded or weathered or whatever it is uh, you know so uh, this needs layers so this is quite simple uh, uh, quite simple effect. What we're going to do is bring the strength on the displacement down to a 0 0.3 so just put in uh, 0.03 like that and you can see now how that's worked you can uh, just increase the depth to 4 and now just uh, give it more depth you know, obviously. Uh, well it'll just sort of make a bit more freckly and we're going to go into colors ramp again uh, and increase the alpha of this up to 1 again and set this to B spline again and uh, just hold control and click uh, roughly about halfway through the uh, the color thing and over here you're just going to set the red, green and blue to 0.2 on all of these which is uh, I think it's exactly halfway uh, you know, halfway between white and black in this or black and white, however you want to say it. Okay, so we're just going to bring up this uh, the black bit over here, and also bring in the white bit. So 
it's sort of uh, separated like that and increase the contrast up to about 1.5 maybe and you can see now so it goes from white to grey to black in nice layers and you can see how the object has changed accordingly that's a bit strange though it may just decrease the strength to like 0.2 or something 0.02 and yep yeah, okay uh, might just spread these out a bit more and just increase, uh, decrease the contrast back down to 1 and spread these out a bit more okay right, yeah that, that looks better and now I'm going to just put it back to 0 0.03 on the strength okay so that's looking okay um, right now if we were to you know there's rocks uh, you know unless they've been underwater and they've been smoothed out they're very rarely completely smooth and what we can uh, do to uh, you know change that is use this third displacement so if we just preview this uh, we don't really need to change anything just set strength down to 0 0.03 and uh, if I get it, let's just increase the depth up to 4 and that way it just adds a nice even displacement over everything so there you have it you have a rock now there's still the material textures we need to add so just add a new texture here call this rock one col like that for color and it's going to be uh, an image uh, so set this from clouds to image or movie and we're going to open up the textures now again this rock texture that I'm using comes from uh, the nature academy but you can go to cgtextures.com to find your rock texture but make sure it's a tiled texture uh, you know, if you go to cdtextures.com it will be labelled uh, tiled, seamless or whatever um, and yeah go for whatever rock you like but I'm going to go for grey cracks 4 so if you're a nature academy student you can just open up that uh, you know that texture okay so if we go to uh, your projection set it to cube because of course the raw object behind this all is a cube uh, so if you set the projection to cube it will sort of go nicely and we can go to the uh, image mapping and set the repeat up to 2 on the X and Y and I just find that sort of helps things out and we can also give it a bump map of point, mm, point 0.2 okay? and now uh, we have got a nice rock like so so if we try and render this now which will be quite an easy job so just set this back up to uh, whatever you want so in my case it'll be well, 920 by 1080 and okay just zoom in like that and render this won't actually take too long probably should have set this to 50 percent and okay it'll render and you can see we now have a very nice looking rock uh, it's a bit shiny though but that's okay because you know, we're going to need it to be shiny uh, but you know bit harder so 250 on the hardness and if we try and render that again then um, we should have a nicer looking wet rock okay and also because the rain has been pouring on it and it's rock I think that adding a mirror uh, onto it actually looks good so I'm going to tick mirror and set the reflectivity up to 1 uh, point 1 sorry uh, but with the Fresnel at 2 and it's blend up to 2 as well so it doesn't really display much at all, maybe just bring the fret now down to 1.5 okay and when I render this you won't really see any difference but um, you know in the final scene there'll just be like this small sort of uh, sheen going over it all, this sort of reflective sheen um, that uh, you know well it just it will you know it'll just look like it's sort of in the scene a bit more okay so now that we've done that what we're going to do is uh, of course if we were to try and duplicate this uh, you, know, you can of course go to the things and I believe there's a seed value somewhere for the I know they're off of clouds anyway it's like a thing here uh, I don't know I never actually used the uh, seeds for textures but anyway uh, yeah we're going to delete that duplicate uh, uh, the copy of it and in the uh, thing over here, just going to lower the view of these to and the render to something like 3. There we go. So it's just less, it's got less vertices, but it's still quite high poly. Okay, now the way we create good variations of rocks is we add an empty. And quite simply, what we do 
is we go to our rock and we go to our displacements and we go down to uh, the texture coordinates set it to object and then choose empty and now when we move our rock around you can actually see the texture sort of roll over the rock and uh, same if we move the empty we'll see the texture roll over the rock so um, that's just how that works and you can now see that if we just move this around we get a completely different rock to this one well maybe not completely different but you get the idea we can get good variations of the rock and if we do this for all the displacements and that means that it will be kind of different so you know people won't be able to spot anything you know because uh, now I'm not on about muggles I'm on about uh, of course the CG masters because there's two things you need to think about you need to think about if a muggle well I'm, I'm gonna stop calling them muggles if someone who doesn't know how to uh, uh, you know how to if someone doesn't know anything about CG if they think it looks realistic then that's one task completed but you also need to think if there's someone who knows everything about uh, computer generated stuff uh, how would they uh, what would they think of it and if they think it's brilliant then there you go that's another mission accomplished and then you could then you know say that you're awesome okay so that's you know you gotta think about two things so uh, these CG masters could notice that there is a displacement uh, that goes over every one of them in the same way. So, if we just duplicate this, he can no longer say that, or he or she, I'm not going to be sexist about it. Okay, and we can make a few of these rocks. Uh, I'm going to make five. And, yeah, just do that by duplicating them. Like that, okay. And I'm also going to give them a different texture for their colour. So, uh, we're going to just change this around so it's going to be rock 5 and this will be rock 4 so just skip that and then this will be 3 and 2 and then the, the rock 1 will already have its thing being called rock 1 so just set it to rock 2 there we go and now we can you know get doing stuff so if we really want to we can also just give these a different diffuse color so we can see easily that you know which rock is which if you want to do some something random like I don't know but you know just give these different uh, you know this won't actually affect the uh, finished result at all uh, it just helps us uh, see the rocks uh, separately so I think well maybe you know this one's got a bad texture to it so let's put it somewhere in the back Okay, so we've got rock one that's got that texture. So rock two, that can have uh, you have just pressed this five here, and so let's do rock two col like that. And it might make sense to just copy that uh, col bit. It might not make that much sense, but anyway, uh, let's go to the image and open up a new image. So uh, a new, or a different rock image so I think I went for that one in the first one so let's go for grey cracks 3 and there we go that's being completed and over here uh, just check this and call this rock 3 card like that there we go and open up yet another grey cracks texture I've got quite a lot of these and now over in this one we've got just press that 3 again uh, bottom four, and get rid of all of that. Okay, so um, we can change this texture now to grey cracks, and then this last one over here, rock five. This can have the, uh, the grey cracks on the other side. So this one. Alright, and now we've got five different looking rocks, uh, with, you know, but they're looking similar, so, you know, try and keep them, because I kept them with grey cracks, you might want to have them with something else, but I now have three rocks, and they're looking different in both geometry and texture, so, uh, yeah, okay, they are now ready to be put into a scene, so I'm going to give this one final render, so, well, this renders, here we go, well, that's quick, uh, hmm, well, so, thanks for watching, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. I, you know, we're going to be getting into the next part now, which will be the trees, perhaps. Uh, maybe the pebbles. Yeah, we'll do the pebbles next. 
Um, okay, so uh, yeah, uh, that's essentially it, really. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, you know, look at part. Uh, what's the next part? Ten, something like that. I don't know. So thanks for watching and goodbye.